Today, we will try to implement some examples from the HTMX documentation in Common Lisp. Let's start with the first one, in which, if we click, we can edit the fields and then change them. We start in the background, HTML to CLU. We may need it to convert some HTML in the list format. We start from a simple project created with Quick Project, composed of the dev system that requires Clack, Niggle and Spinneret, the package and the actual code that contains just the main layout, which includes Bulma and HTMX, and start a server with Niggle. From this, we can start the first example. First of all, we serve this base HTML. We will need a list of contacts. And we also start this example. Now, let's load this data from an actual data store. For the sake of the example, we can just use a list. Now, we have to read the contact from the ID. And the contact from the list. And we can show it on the page. On the button, we have also to put the ID. We have to use the data prefix to be compliant to HTML5. And we have to use let star because we are reusing ID inside the let definition. Nothing has changed in the output, but now it is reading from the list. I switched the CSS to Bootstrap because this is what is actually using. One is just to modify the link href, and we get this result. Now we have to implement the click to edit. The structure is the same, but it will just return the new form instead of the old page. And we can see the form here. We have the contact URL in multiple places, so we store it in a variable. And we take the default value from the contact. We have to pass nil to return the string created from format. And we can see that now it works. Now we have to manage the submit. We have to issue a put. The return value should be the diff without the layout. We print it in a function. This way, we can reuse it in the get request. We can see that it still works. In the put, we just return the contact component. But first, we have to update the contact. I loaded the debugger to see the structure of params. We can see that it is simply a list of cons. Therefore, we can read the form parameter the same way but we have to use the equal p test because they are string. And then we change the value using setf. And we can see that it worked. Let's try the next example. We need more contacts and show them in a table. And we can start from this. The first div just contains the buttons. We have to change this in order to show all the contacts.
and we also have to add an active flag. And we can see that they're actually shown. I use loop instead of do list because I also need a counter. We can see that activate and deactivate are put and they include old form. Again, let's inspect what we are given. So we get multiple IDs. We have to activate all the ones for which the ID is in the list. In this case, the params only contains the IDs. Let's try this and then re-render the table, which is this. As usual, we move away the component. And we can see that it worked. Let's do the same for the deactivate. For today this is all, let me know in the comment if you like the video, leave a like and subscribe.